What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested camera comparison between the brand new iPhone 10 and the Google Pixel 2 XL. So I'm going to start with the front-facing cameras first, and we're going to walk around so you can see what the stabilization is like, and then I'm going to switch in between the audio sources, so let me know which microphone sounds best. So starting with the front-facing cameras, the Google Pixel 2 XL has an 8-megapixel front-facing camera that shoots 1080p video, and the iPhone 10 has a 7-megapixel front-facing camera that shoots 1080p video as well. Now, the main camera setup from the back, they definitely are different, where the Google Pixel 2 XL only has one 12.2 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization, but it is able to do portrait mode, which is absolutely amazing. And the iPhone 10 has a dual camera system setup, two 12 megapixel sensors, one with f1.8 aperture, and the 2x telephoto lens at f2.4 aperture, and they are both optically stabilized, which is awesome. So they both can do portrait mode on the front and back, so these cameras are awesome to compare. So I'm going to go out and take a whole bunch of pictures today, low light, good light, portrait mode, all of that stuff from the front and back cameras, and we're going to see which one comes out on top. To start things off, all of the photos and videos were taken on auto mode to make sure that things are as fair as possible, and the images for both were untouched straight out of the camera. This is a tough comparison because you really have to nitpick to see the major differences between both of them, because both of them are just that damn good. But here's what I saw after comparing about 100 images or so. Both are incredible in daytime pictures, great colors, and the dynamic ranges there. You won't be disappointed with either of them, but the Google Pixel 2 XL usually creates the more contrasted and sharper picture overall. And I'm surprised that the iPhone 10 is the camera this year to give more saturated and more unnatural colors, where the Pixel tends to lean towards the warmer and more realistic colors. Both look really, really good, and this is all personal preference though, since some people love that saturated punch on photos, but I do prefer the Pixel's white balance choices in most of the scenarios. On some shots, the Pixel 2 XL leans too much towards contrast and can mess up the colors a little bit, but for the most part, I prefer the images that come from the Pixel 2 XL. I feel like it's just the right balance of color, sharpness, and contrast, where I feel like the iPhone 10 tends to overexpose slightly across most shots, and you can really see it here on the white petals on the flower, even if you aren't a camera buff, the pixel shots come out with more overall detail and look sharper without that crazy over sharpened look. They both do well with macro photography, lots of details, but in some shots I did notice that the iPhone had a sharper image with more detail. Also keep in mind that the iPhone 10 has a 2x zoom with a secondary camera, so this is handy if you need that extra range with no loss in quality. The Pixel 2 XL is neat because it can do portrait mode on both the front and back without the need for a secondary lens, and compared to the iPhone's dual camera system and its second year on portrait mode, the Pixel 2 XL is really impressive, sometimes beating out the iPhone 10 in terms of exposure, contrast, sharpness, and detail. I also find this to be true for the portrait mode on the front facing camera as well. Sometimes the iPhone has better colors though, and even though they both make mistakes with the edges, it's nice to see portrait mode come to selfies, even though I never take them. When it comes to 4K video though, the iPhone 10 is showing higher dynamic range, a lot more detail here in the sky, but I prefer the colors from the Pixel 2 XL in the daytime. Now nighttime video, the iPhone 10 looks much nicer with better noise reduction and much better exposure, all while retaining more detail, so if you're into nighttime video, the iPhone 10 might be the better choice. Both phones have optical image stabilization, so taking 4K video while walking, they both look good, but if I had to pick a winner, it looks like the Pixel 2 XL is doing a slightly better job. They are both good, but the Pixel looks like it's on a gimbal, it's super smooth, and both of them are just being handheld, so let me know which one that you think looks better. They both shoot 240 frames per second slow motion, but the iPhone 10 does shoot in a higher 1080p quality versus the 720p on the Pixel 2 XL. The difference isn't as drastic as you would imagine, but the iPhone's video does look better with a little bit more detail and a brighter image, and the iPhone 10's also looks a little smoother. Also, the iPhone 10 shoots 4K video at 60 frames per second, so if you want to see what that looks like, I will link my video down there for you. It's pretty cool. The autofocus on both of these phones are fantastic. I've never had any problems from either of them not focusing correctly. If you look at the iPhone's autofocus though, you can see it's a fast but gradual shift in focus, which I really like. It's almost like focus from a higher end DSLR. Let's get to what everyone cares about, and that is the low light performance. And this is where I was shocked most on the results. The iPhone shots look great, and you won't be disappointed in the iPhone 10's low light. But when it's compared to the Pixel 2 XL shots, you can really see Google's HDR Plus processing pulling away here. When it comes to the dynamic range, it's almost unfair. Look at how much detail is retained here on the bright sign on the Pixel shot, where on the iPhones, it's completely blown out. 
The lighting on the windows and signs are also much better represented with full detail, and while both have great noise reduction with nice black levels in the sky, you can really see the difference in bright neon signs or signage. Once again, it's not that the iPhone 10 is not doing great, it's just the Pixel is just doing that much better. There are times where the iPhone 10 has better color replication, like the reds on this Coca-Cola building, but the dynamic range, contrast, details, and sharpness I feel are just unmatched on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, and I've tested the Pixel with many other cameras like the Note 8 and the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, so stay tuned for those exciting comparisons. For people who like selfies, the iPhone 10 is a good choice, but once again, I feel that the Pixel 2 XL's 8 megapixel camera for the most part does a better job, more detail, better exposure, and better skin colors, especially in low light conditions. Look here where the sign behind me is just completely blown out on the iPhone's image, where the Pixels, even though it's super noisy, you can actually see the sign. Alright guys, so after looking at all these pictures, let me know which one is your favorite. You really can't go wrong with either one of these, and that's the thing you should take away from this video, but this time, I have to call a winner, and the winner overall is the Google Pixel 2 XL. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you'll let me know. Be respectful in the comments, no matter which one you like best. Subscribe for more camera comparisons like this one. Smack that like button if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.